Uh, I definitely think it is. I mean, social media is obviously growing by you know leaps and bounds. Commercial real estate or real estate in general is not the most progressive or dynamic uh, industry when it comes to embracing new technologies. Um, but I've seen in the past six months alone a lot of uh, you know open arms for the type, type of technology that's out there. Down the road, I definitely see it being more of an element in the business. But again, I think at the end of the day, it's going to be people to people, not you know people from their laptop to somebody else's uh, you know BlackBerry. I think it's going to be really more faces. You know, you have to go out there and touch the brick and mortar. You have to go out there and shake the hand of the guy you're doing a deal with. But I definitely think it'll be uh, a part of the industry and will continue to grow. Uh, but we'll only see. Time will tell. I mean, we, we all use LinkedIn as a sort of a personal connection and a business connection. Um, in a, excuse me, in a professional connection sort of way. Uh, beyond that, I'm not sure that it's going to be that useful. I think it's interesting. Um, probably... I think there's some relation. I'm not sure if it's a large relationship. I think that especially in the marketing of products and in the um, implementation of these projects, so getting tenants in and getting customers in, it's very important. Um, in terms of developing the projects, I'm not sure if it's that important. But I think at the, um, at, the, at the implementation stage it is. The session alone on social media this morning Right? The distinction between social media, is it a technology or is it a marketing strategy? You know, the world is changing sort of as we stand here. I've been asked that question a lot and I think companies in 2010, um, you know, if it's not part of their PR strategy, they're seriously thinking about it. Um, I've talked to, or I've done some research on real estate firms and it's typically the smaller developer that has um, sort of uh, realized the power of social marketing. I've gone to a couple of the larger real estate websites and I haven't seen them use Facebook and your Twitters um, uh, to, pr to promote their business and their services. So um, I think there's definitely a lot of opportunity there. Well, I think it really depends upon where you fit in the uh, chain of commercial real estate. Uh, I think social media is important more from the broker side and it can be established on the broker side. Sometimes with commercial real estate, you gotta be careful with social media. So for example, for some developments and investments, sometimes you wanna keep things close to the vest because you're not really sure what you're doing yet. And things are always in flux. And if you have a development going underway, social media might not be the best way to kind of get out to the community what you're doing because social media is sometimes hard to control. So uh, the wrong message could get sent and it could kind of get out of control and spin the way you are. So I think if you're a developer, or an investor of a large project. Social media, um, I would be tentative about using social media uh, to control your message because the message gets out of your hands and it's in the hands of, of, of the other people. Um, if you're on the side of a uh, sales side or you're a broker, you're someone who's trying to generate interest in something, I think social media is fantastic and you should definitely be used. Well, it, it's actually interesting that you asked me that uh, given the fact that I have more gray hair than you. Um, uh, I actually uh, use LinkedIn and it's allowed me to reconnect with either old clients or uh, new potential clients and develop some relationships to set up an opportunity to uh, grab coffee or lunch with, uh, with either new people or, or uh, old people that I have, not old, elderly, but people that I haven't reconnected with in, uh, in, a, in a while. So it's, uh, it's been interesting. Well, I think that there's a huge future, not only in commercial real estate, but in any sphere, any sphere, uh, and social media. Uh, that's why I'm actually particularly interested in attending the Generation Y uh, conference and, and session that they're having tomorrow, talking about how this younger demographic is going to have an impact on commercial real estate. So it's been talked about uh, on the phrase. It hasn't been a, a core component of most of the presentations. I think, I think social media is. Uh, is a avenue that's much easier to integrate into more of a digital uh, format. When you talk about commercial real estate, uh, there has been progress. If you use LoopNet, uh, it's a site where commercial brokers go there to look at properties. Um, it makes it a lot more transparent. You can get pricing information. So it's happening, you know, and uh, people are using the internet, they're using technology, they're using social media in order to get the world out, to, to market. But um, I would. I think it's an excellent question from the standpoint of I would actually like to see social media being highlighted maybe a little bit more and seeing how that can impact the future of commercial real estate and uh, land development going forward.